And we're back! By the way, why the hell would it be a Gengar against a Jigglypuff in the Pokemon League? Is that what that was supposed to represent? Because that's a horrible, horrible matchup. It really is. Well, like, let's continue our adventure, which... Hey! We're back in front of my house! And my Pokemon are still injured! Wow, I never healed them after earning the championship! I got so excited! I'm asking you to take a quick rest. Thanks, Mom! I thought you would have looked it over, but I guess you don't care. Oh, good. You and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Thanks, Mom! What the hell did you notice that earlier? Mm, this is why I don't come here to eat anymore. And now's our first day's Pokemon champ. Man, I better remember to heal them in general. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, we'll get back and ready to more Let's Pay Pokemon Blue. This is your host, DMJ4106. And well, we've got some more stuff to do before we officially conclude this Pokemon journey. For example, I mentioned the fact there are some unique trades I need to do. Which, yes. I went to items instead. Actually, I'm thinking about it. Since I have so many on me, I may as well take all of them. Better not try to use all of them, though. There's something I need to do. Remember I said there's some trades I need to do? I want to at least get all the unique Pokemon I can get. Because, uh, yeah. It'd be definitely worthwhile trying to go for those. So that's, this is basically an evolution episode, I suppose. So anyway, let me, uh, put away everybody but Pidgeot, really. Maybe I should keep... Yeah, I should probably keep my Vaporeon, but... We'll figure it out, won't we? No! Stop trying to run! I guess I'll keep Venusaur as well. Okay, so let's see. The Pokemon I want to try to evolve so I can do trades. Slowpoke is one of them. Another one would be Poliwag. So I'll work on you two. Why not? Um, there should be one more. Um, it's probably another box. I need to think, what's the other one? Oh, right, it's probably box one. I need my, I need my Abra. Because I remember that one. Alright, so let's see. Uh, withdraw. Where are you? Abra! So, let's go do some unique trades for some Pokemon you won't really, don't be able to capture anywhere else. Let's make our move. I believe the first trainer's on Route 2 somewhere? I need to remember where these trainers are, but yeah. I'll show you some more trades are for Pokemon you can't really find anywhere else. The rest of the Pokemon I can go for are basically ones I can also find elsewhere. Or ones I've already done. Like Electrode, Seal, I already did Farfetch'd. I did those ones. Or mentioned how to do those, I guess. I'm trying to go for more, which, um... Wait, let me see. Yeah, there is one around here somewhere. Yeah, they're in the house here, right? I don't remember, they're in the house just up here. Man, I can't think of anywhere else they'd be. Hello! What's below? There's flashlights you can get through! Rock tunnel! That's nice. It's your flashlight to you in the darkest dungeons. Oh, right, you're the guy that gave me flash. Isn't there another house or something back here? I'm on Route 3 now, aren't I? Well, I don't know for sure. So let me check this area out. Move. Maybe you're in this house. I'm thinking you are. I made a bow, I can't fight, but I can still use moves like cut. That it can. Maybe let me know. I'm looking for Abra. Wanna trade one for Mr. Mime? Yep, I may as well. I can always get to know. <laughs> it's still asleep though. Okay, connect the cable like so. So more Link Cable Madness. I don't need to worry about Abra. I'll be able to be just fine without you. All you do is teleport anyway. So, yep. Here's another one of the unique trades. Because this is the only way to get Mr. Mime. Trades are the only ways to get Pokemon such as Mr. Mime, Farfetch'd, and, well, the other two are also ones we're going after. Which reminds me, I better do what I gotta do so I can actually do those trades. Because, uh... Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. I have to evolve them. I definitely did forget. Hello, Mr. Mime. Welcome to my team. I'm never gonna use you. Dumbass trade ever for Mr. Mime. Thank you, dude. Hey, thanks. Isn't my old Mr. Mime great? Yeah, I'm sure it is. You know, some of these trades aren't a bad idea. You call it Marcel. Oh, by the way, you can't change the name of Pokemon you receive from other people. But yep, 
This one knows Confusion Barrier. So you want a good Psychic type immediately? You can Abra and come back here. Mr. Mime is a pretty good option. It really isn't a bad idea. Alright. Well, let me do something I need to do first. So, Rare Candies. I need to- Oh, God. Polywag, you are nearly dead. Then again, I don't really care about your health and well-being. So, I was gonna keep feeding you Rare Candies till you evolve, damn it. There's another reason why I have Rare Candies. Doing that glitch to duplicate your Rare Candies, thanks to missing no. Well, yay! You can basically duplicate that item, and well, this makes evolving things easy. Since most Pokemon evolve via level up, it's really not a problem. Let's keep going, Poliwag. Yeah, 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 learn your moves, whatever. I just want you to grow up to be big and strong, like your evolution says you will be. I got hope most of us evolutions say they would be. And then, we can trade you off. Because that's the only reason I'm leveling you up like this. My god, what level do you evolve at, dude? You learned Double Slap. Oh. You learned Double Slap when you can't actually use it, but now you're evolving so you can properly use it. Congratulations, you moron. But at least you evolved. If I gave you a Wally, if I gave you a, a Wally, a Water Stone, it would basically a bigger fist and evolve into a Polyrath. Which is actually a water fighting type. Another unique water Pokemon. An interesting one, but really the fighting type, since you can already fight rocks off, it's kind of pointless to have. Unless you really want to be able to beat up those normal types. Which... Yeah, Polyrath is a bit of a powerhouse. And because it's also fast, well... Oh yeah, Polyrath can be trouble. It only can be. Alright, come on, let's get you up to level 27, and then a shelter will magically show up on your tail and you'll evolve, apparently. Because that's how this works. I don't get it, but whatever. But yep, these are two of the best water Pokemon, and I have to get rid of them both. Or at least so low Pokemon I have to get rid of. Oh no, you learned Growl! Oh wait, no, I guess it's level 28. I forgot what level you evolve at. Wait, do I not even remember? What is it, 32? I even told people, and I forgot! Geez, shows how much my research actually means anything to me. Apparently it doesn't. Alright, come on. Slowpoke. Ooh, good, you're learning Water Gun finally. Hmm. Well, the fact you learned Growl pisses me off. I'll at least make him- I'll at least make you usable for that person I trade you to. Cause that'll just be mean. Then again, I'm not healing Poliwhirl, so I'm kind of a dick that way too. Oh my god, when do you evolve? And again, if I do remember, you did evolve very early. Oh, it's 37. My bad. Jesus Christ, you take a lot of work. But it's worth it. You get a tiny bit faster and- Oh my god! Hey, a shell clapped on me. I'm stronger now, right? God damn it. I guess. And now you can learn withdraw. No! You don't need that! And there we go. They both evolved. So now let's do the trades I need to do. First one, Cerulean City. Away! We may as well trade you. I believe it's the Poliwhirl trade. It's in one of the houses, I think. So yeah. A Wally Pokemon takes a lot of work. <laughs> and a lot of rare candy. At least it's easiest of rare candy, which is why I'm glad to do it that way. I was like, Pimo, you're a collector, would you please trade with him? Well, found the guy already, that was quick. Hello there, do you want to trade your Poliwhirl for Jinx? Yeah, sure! This actually isn't too bad of a deal either. So may as well go for it. Okay, connect the cable like so! I know how to connect the cable! It's wireless now, dude! Give him the times! Give him the times, old man, it's wireless these days. Ah. Ah, sorry. Got, like, phlegm in my throat there. Anyway, I was gonna say something. You know how, um, if you guys don't know the old school Game Boy, if you had a link cable and plugged it into, uh, the little port for it, you could connect it to other Game Boy to connect, to, uh, connect with it. You do versus battles and trading like this. The remake actually introduced the, uh, wireless transfer thing you'd connect to your Game Boy to make it wireless instead of needing to connect via wire in a cluttered manner. There we go, now we have Jigs! Yeah, this is a nice fun fact to mention. 
Now it's wireless today for everything. Dumbass trade poly oil for Jinx. Jinx! I didn't even get a fanfare for it. That's how much people don't like Lola here. Here's Jinx though. It's an ice and psychic type. It's one of the only ice types that isn't also uh, water. Pretty much this and Articuno are the two. But yeah, Jinx is pretty useful. It's a unique um, psychic type, that's for sure. Having ice moves as well, it's a good dragon slayer, and the fact that it's psychic makes it a very good option to have if you really want it. So yeah, that's a good one for you. Now, uh, hang on. I need to check a map. The last trade I want to do is, uh, where's Route 18? Over there. Okay, so the Fuchsia City. Oh, yeah, I kind of remember where it is. Okay. So, let's go back to Fuchsia City. There we are. Fly me! Fly me! Man, it's a good thing I remember where a lot of these are. Also, I think I should go over the last of the, um, uh, Pokemon that I can get in this, um, uh, gen. The last and unique Pokemon I can get. If I can find it, that'd be cool. Well, let's go over the last of these. I think you're the guy. I'm looking for Slowbro. Want to trade one for my Lickitung? Sure. Let's get that Lickitung. Okay, connect the cable. Yep, I got it. Which I guess I should mention now I'm thinking about it. There are two Pokemon that I can't find at all in this game. Not even communicating, like, finding trainers for them. That are exclusive to, uh, Red. Slash Yellow, if you're playing that version. But, yeah. Those two would happen to be, um, uh, one I could find in the, uh, Safari Zone, and the other one I'll mention right now. You know I found Magmar in the Pokemon Mansion? There's another Pokemon called Electabuzz, an electric type that's similar to Magmar, that I could find in the Power Plant. But only in red. And now I have this weird look, Lickitung thing. Thank you, Dumbass Trade Slowbro, for Lickitung. See, they like this trade. Hey, thanks! Yep, no problem. I guess I'll heal them and swap my Pokemon back out. But yep, Electabuzz can only be found in the power plant. I don't remember what Pokemon number that is. Um, yeah, there you go. Info as usual. I guess I'll do. By the way, is this Pokemon fully healed? Wow, I give them injured Pokemon and I give them crap. Oh no, they, they give me good, healthy Pokemon, I give them crap. <laughs> Man, I treat my Pokemon with respect. So let me deposit, uh, all three of you. At least the ones I can. Yeah, I'll just deposit everybody if I can. Cause that'll be cool. There we go. And there we go, that's all the trades done for. So let's go back to box two, where I believe they are. I need to make sure I remember where they all are. I'll probably also switch my box afterwards, too. I'm gonna need all my starting Pokemon still, because we have another difficult place to go through. Remember how I said that, uh, the last place of Ruin Cave? That guy was standing there saying there's some tough Pokemon in there. Oh, he ain't kidding! There's some tough shit in there! I will say this, though. Once we get what's in there, we are done with this game. I am done with this playthrough. That will be it. The Let's Play will be finished once we get the Pokemon that lies in that cave. It's another legendary, and uh, oh, oh, it's a hell of a legendary. Okay, one last thing I want to do. I'll go over one attempt at this. I'm not gonna go for Tratini, if that's what you're wondering. No, that's not my style here. What I'm really trying to do is get myself a uh, I'm trying to get myself the last of the uh, Pokemon Blue exclusive Pokemon if I can find it. Or at least come across it, you know. Because I never evolved my Sandshrew in a Sand Slash, I don't really care to do so. Let's go to the Pokemon Safari and find the last one! And well, once I find this, I'll tell you the last one you can get only in... Pokemon? Um... Red. Slash Yellow. You wonder why Yellow coordinates with Red? Yellow's the third version the, uh, international people got, by the way. But yeah, basically... Hi, Rhyhorn. The third version, basically... Truth is, 
for the Japanese, the blue we have is their third version. Because it approved, um... That you got a different red and blue that had uh, more flaws with it. So they improved on it and made it this. And then decided to release it internationally, which is probably a good move on their part. Hmm, I probably didn't search here enough. So I'll look through here more. But yeah, basically... Oh, I don't have one of you. I may as well try for you. <laughs> Why not? It'll be fun. Oh. Well, screw you two. I'm looking for somebody else anyway. But yeah, basically... Um... Yeah. Japanese had their own original versions. They had, you know, more messed up sprites, more glitches, all that. They fixed a lot of it to get a set... Well, they had originally red and green. Sorry, I should mention that. They had originally red and green. And they had blue... Ver they had a, a third blue version to play it off as, um, uh... An improved green, basically. Yellow was a unique version that came out internationally as well. It played off the anime, because, uh, well, that was huge. In Japan and around the U.S., actually. And, uh, yeah. There's some good stuff. And yellow version, well, since Japanese already had a second blue, or a second green in their case, yellow had to be basically a second red, an improvement on that. And that's why it's based off red. At least that's my take of it. I don't think it's wrong, but... Eh, what do I know? Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, have I not been over somewhere somewhere in here? Oh good, another attempt! Get out of the way! I'm looking for somebody else! Have you seen a giant bug that has pincers? Have you seen that? That's the last one I'm looking for! Well, cool, now I have this. So yeah, I may as well go over some new Pokemon if I find them. Because why not? There's only one I want to look for. And there's Nidoran, the poison pit Pokemon. Snippets its ears to sense danger. The larger its horns, the more powerful its se secreted venom. Oh god! Well, that's interesting. I could evolve you into Nido King pretty quickly if I really wanted to. But I'm not going to do that. Because that's not my style. That's not my style. There are rest houses. I wish there were trades you could do inside these houses. Then again, I guess it would be kind of annoying to have to keep coming back and forth to this place. So maybe it's probably better they didn't do that. And Nidorina. Man, at least Nidoran male shows up frequently here. I'm used to finding Nidoran male at the beginning of the game, but I only found the female version. Okay, you're showing up too frequently. Get away. Get away now, before I get angry. Let's try the grass here. This seems to have the rarest ones, like Tauros and all that. So I may as well hope and see that I can find it. And of course, first thing's a neat arena. Okay, basically what I'm looking for is a giant Pokemon that has pincers. In fact, its name is actually Pincer. That will be the last original Pokemon we can find in, um, Pokemon Blue. And while I'm hoping I can find this damn thing. Guess well. I'm gonna run out of steps soon. I'd rather not run out. If only I had good things show up! But there's not really anything that makes rare Pokemon appear. Maybe I want to go another area over. I don't know. I'll go down here. I don't remember this area too well, so I'll explore this a little bit. Actually, I probably do know this area, but I'm gonna explore it anyway. Oh yeah, I got on that island to get uh, an item. I forgot about that. Oh good, now you're on my way. Thank you! Darn you! You know, you're freaking. I still have a few steps left. And I don't think there's gonna be anything unique finding by surfing on the water. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, Venonat! I can use another one of you. Why not? Join the party! Or, you know, don't. Eat some food! You fat bastard! Now get in the ball! Oh, wow, no, that made it even more... That even encouraged it more to fight back. Come on! If I get it angry, for some reason, that makes it easier to catch. I don't know how. I'm pretty sure it's like the bait encourages them to stay, but the rock actually makes it easier to catch. And there we go, I got a Venonat. Now I have another one that I can actually evolve, so now I don't have to catch its evolution. Good. That's always easier. 
Could you not be an asshole right now? Mm. I wish I could increase my number of steps, but no. They really screw you over in that department. Oh well. At least I put in a good honest effort. I'm trying to remember where I found the Tauros. It was down here, right? I don't remember. I just know I'm wasting my time coming down here, probably. Oh, it's here! Right, this is where the l rare Pokemon of the Safari are, I believe. I guess I'm pretty sure this is where we find them. Ah, oh, I'm running out of steps! But yeah, I guess you come over here, you can find the, the oddballs. So, yeah, it's worth exploring this area, that's for sure. At least you're really here for the Pokemon, it is. Not a Venonat, though! Not a Venonat! It's the fourth area, so, yeah. It's certainly worth exploring if you really want to find something worthwhile. Well, really? Sure! Come with me! I had a feeling you would say no. Screw you, then! I want you to join my party! Okay, fine. Run away from the party, you cowardly bitch! This is why you're an anti-social asshole! Ugh, some things are just unbelievable sometimes. And running out of steps. But secret, if you continue to just look around like this, you can not take steps and keep trying to look for Pokemon. You just have to be very light on the tap. At least I would think it works. I don't usually find Pokemon that way, though. So that shows that I'm doing something wrong. Heh. <laughs> shows what I know. Could you not? Could you, could you not do this right now? You asshole. So who's next? Ah, oh, Nita ran female again. Seriously, could you not do this right now? Son of a bitch. No! Ding dong, time's up. Ah! Frick! Your safari game is over! Shit! Did you get a go haul? Come again. No! What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go in until I find it. I really wanna find it. And once I do, I'll show it to you guys. So, well, time for a big time warp. The biggest I've had in a while. Let's have some fun. Give me those safari balls. You'll know when I come back, because I'll come back victorious. Are you something worth catching? Please tell me. No, you're not. You're a lying asshole. That's what you are. You lying asshole! So I don't know where all three of the areas are, but I want to find something worthy of my catch. I hate you! I just don't know where everything is now. Thank goodness for the internet. Oh, god damn it! What did I run into now? <gasps> hey, there you are! Here's the last exclusive Pokemon for Blue! Pinsir! It's a uh, pretty good bug Pokemon. And uh, yeah. I just made it run away. Ah! Well, the point is, that's what I was trying to find. So at least it's in the Pokedex now. So yep, that's the last exclusive Pokemon to Pokemon Blue, Pinsir. It's another pretty good bug type. And uh, I can say this much. It's all right. I'm not too big of the bug types, but you know, Pinsir's a pretty decent one. So yep, you can find that here, only in blue version. It's a stag beetle. That's what it is. The replacement you'd get for a red version would be, um, uh, Scyther. Who's the, uh, he's the bug poker that has the, uh, the slasher blades as his arms. You can find that in Safari Zone. As a matter of fact, there you go. Just to reconfirm that. <laughs> you also have the ability to buy if the, uh, if you don't want to bother trying to find it by small amount of chance, here in the uh, Safari Zone, you can always get really good to sell it on Game Corner and try to buy it there. Cause uh, yeah, that's the other way to get it. A sh that's the way to get it for sure. So that is a good method. However, well, the best chances you have to find the pincer are in the main central area where you start the Safari Zone in blue. And apparently in yellow for some reason. Yellow did change some of the encounter rates for things, though, so it's not purely like a red. It did change it up a bit, like... In yellow, you actually have a chance to catch a dragon error when you go fishing. So yeah, that's not something you get in the other two versions. 
In case you're wondering, I did have to look it up, because I wanted to make sure I knew where to find Pinsir. Oh wow, I found another! Which I learned how this whole thing works. It's a random number generator situation, and it ran away again. Maybe I should've just run a Pokeball at it instead. Or it's basically, giving it bait lowers the catch rate, but increases the uh, chance that it will stay. Throwing a rock at it will double the catch rate, but will increase its chances of running away. So yeah, it is a big gambling game. Do you want to try to keep it around to see if you can get a lucky catch off of RNG? Or do you just want to take a gamble and hope you go for an easy catch? On the hope that it doesn't run away by throwing a rock at it. Oh, man. The Safari Zone really is like gambling, isn't it? The only other Pokemon that I wanted to show that I could find here, but I can't. But you've seen it already, so I don't care that much. Chansey! Its best chances are of appearing are in the, uh, the uh, eastern area. So that would be, uh... Yeah. That would be the first area you can normally run into. Well, at least I found it. That's all I wanted to do. So thank you, Pencer, for at least coming out to say hey. And that's over and over all the exclusive Pokemon to the best of my ability, without the ability to trade. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty hard when you can't trade, because then you won't be able to see some of the Pokemon. Which, by the way, apparently finding the Tauros is also very hard, so I got super lucky when I found it. <laughs> Man, what fortune was that? Too bad I didn't catch a Tauros, either. But yeah, as you can expect, there's some good Pokemon to catch the Safari Zone. So take your time to look for those. The rare ones to find are Chansey, Tauros, Dratini, and then Pinsir if you're playing blue, and Scyther if you're playing red. Those are the big ones you want to try to look for. But yeah, that was fun. I spent a lot of time looking for that. Anyway... That's over this episode. So, you guys know what's coming next. I'm done with my Pokemon hunting. As far as I'm concerned, I've done everything I could. So, I'm sorry I show off trade evolutions and all that, and the other version of exclusive I can't actually encounter, but... Hey, it's the misfortune of the uh, primitive game here. They think better about it in the uh, future games, but... Eh, it's as good as I can get right now. Sorry. And welcome back next time. We will start our exploration through Cerulean Cave, and hopefully it'll only take the next three episodes to go through, because, uh... If I remember, that cave is actually pretty intense to move through. Hang on, do I have max repels on me? I have four. That's why I really feel like I need to speed along, but... Oh, the Pokemon are strong. Where reminds me. I should probably level up the Pokemon before I go in there. Yeah, I'll do that for next time.